We're seeing the future of displays here at Samsung Displays booth, and it all starts with the world's brightest OLED TV. We're also going to check out the world's first 360 hertz V-Stripe OLED gaming monitor and what could be a precursor to Apple's first foldable display. I don't blame you if you're looking more behind my shoulder than at me because we are looking at the world's brightest OLED TV and Samsung display, this goes up to 4,500 nits. So if you take a look at this, you can see that not only are you having like perfect blacks, the highlights, and there's more light coming through. And they've done this in a few ways. One is that the TFT circuitry is better. It's a more efficient panel, so the light emissions are better. And the timing controller has also been improved. So these three improvements together combine for what could be the world's brightest OLED TV when it eventually comes out. Now, this is Samsung display and not regular Samsung, but we do have a taste of what could be coming down the line. So let's talk about another world's first, and that is the world's first 34-inch, 360 hertz V-Stripe display. That's a lot of words, but the V-Stripe part actually means that you're gonna get better clarity, not only in graphics, but especially in text. So if you're like browsing the web, or if you're checking email, which I know seems like a waste when you see a panel like this, but you're also getting 99% of the DCI-P3 color gamut. So you're getting awesome colors along with perfect blacks and silky smooth motion. And remember that because this is an OLED panel, the 360 hertz actually translates to about 540 if you were looking at an LCD. The last thing I wanna show you from Samsung Display is something you have to see and touch because this is the Montflex Display, which is a sub-brand of Samsung Display. And what you can see right here is that this is essentially the panel that's on the Galaxy Z Fold 7. So it's very easy to tell that it has a crease, especially if you look at it off angle. But Samsung Display is working on a prototype. This is from their R&D development where there is no crease at all. And even when you glide your finger over the panel, I can't even feel it. It's much, it's like very easy to tell where it is here. And they assured me that this actually folds when it's out of this box. There are rumors that Apple is working with Samsung Display on the iPhone Fold, and it may not have these dimensions, but it could have this technology inside. So that's a quick overview of what's new with Samsung Display here at CES 2026. They're thinner, lighter, faster, more durable, and less creases. These panels can even take a punch from a basketball. Thank you so much. <laughs> I don't see any dents, so good job. <laughs>